Hi everyone, it's Rob from SAS Render Systems. I just wanted to run through the process that we use to do a rough takeoff from a PDF elevation drawing. It's nice and easy to do on Adobe Acrobat Reader, which is a completely free program to use. Um, so we're going to use this as an example. And what you want to do is you want to go to the right section here and scroll down to the bottom where you've got a section that says more tools and measure is what we're looking for. So once you've done that, this brings up this little measuring tool up here. So we click on that and that brings up all the different measuring options. So we can see on here um, on this particular drawing, it says that our scale is one to 100. So what I like to do um, when drawing is if you push control and scroll on your mouse, that allows you to zoom in to get a little bit closer. And when you've got the measuring tool activated, if you right click, there's a thing that says change scale ratio and precision. So we can click on that. And this is currently set to inches and we don't want inches. We want to measure everything in millimeters and we want the output in meters. Uh, obviously you can do, do whatever you want, but um, normally we're looking for how many square meters everything is. It's just generally easier to work with. So if the scale is one to a hundred, as this says, then that would mean that 10 millimeters would be one meter. So if I just set that up here, so 10 millimeters is one meter. Um, just as an example, if you were doing other scale ratios there, one to 50, it would be five millimeters would be a meter. And if it was one to 25, then 2.5 millimeters would be a meter. But I'll go into the ratios a little bit more sort of as, as we go on. So um, 1 to 100 is what it says here, so we're, we're going with 10 millimeters to 1 meter and we'll see how that works out. And um, so a good thing to test to make sure that that scale ratio that we've got written there is correct is this little line means that we're just doing a linear measurement. So a good test to do is always a door because a door should be about 2 meters. So if we go zoomed in here to the top of the door down to the bottom of the door, then we can see that that is, there we go, 2.03. Yeah, so that's coming out at two meters. So we know that our scale is correct for this drawing. So that's fantastic. So let's delete that. So I just want to click on that and push delete on the keyboard. That gets rid of that. Bring my measuring tool back up. So the part that we're mostly interested in is this. When we're doing render takeoffs, we want to know an area. So you click on the area tool and that allows you to basically draw around an area and it will tell you how big the area is. So uh, let's just do this nice uh, gable here as an example. So we want to start here and I would just normally do it fairly roughly. You don't need to go all the way um, matching matching all the, the soffits, you just need to get a bit of a, a rough idea. So if we're going down here, down to there, and across to here, and that tells us that, that area is 35.91 square meters. So that's fantastic. And if you're doing an area that's a bit trickier uh, with windows in, like these ones here, let me just show you that as an example. So there's two ways to do it. If I do uh, half and half to, to show you, you can either do, do it around like this. And then you've got 13.7. That's not quite right because it went down there. And then you could then measure the windows. That's two square meters. And that one is 1.42. So you could take those away from the area or sometimes a quick way to do it is if you just go effectively around them. So, 
That sometimes happens if you click on an area that you're already measuring. And there we go. That will give us the area sort of minus those, those little bits in the windows. Or you can obviously measure straight through the windows and um, that and that will give you a little bit of extra extra wastage, just depending however you want to do it. So that's really nice and simple. Um, a little trick that you can do as well that I wasn't doing there, if I zoom into this one, is if you click on somewhere and hold down the Shift key, you'll only be drawing straight lines, which makes it a lot not a lot neater for areas like this. So you just hold the shift if you want to go straight up um, or straight across like that. There we go. So all nice and straightforward. Um, if you've got the, the scale, you can just plug that straight in and that'll give you your area and then you can just run through them all, do a little takeoff like this, add them all together, take out the windows if you want to, and it's nice and straightforward. But we don't always get a nice, easy scale ratio. So I wanted to show you an example of one without it. So we'll get rid of this. And let's have a look at this one. So on here, so we got these drawings across, no scale ratio, but we do, however, have some measurements to go off here. So the way to do this would be to, first of all, find our measuring tool, exactly as we did before. Now, what I would then do, because we haven't got anything to go on, is check if you right click and click the change scale ratio, set it to one millimeter and one millimeter. So that means you'll just be measuring things exactly as they currently are. And then use one of the measurements that's already here to set your scale ratio. So if we know this particular measurement um, is 1200, so we've got there that 14.6 millimeters should be 1200. So we bring up the scale ratio and very straightforwardly plug in 14.66 millimeters. And I'm just going to change this to meters again because that's what we like to work with. Um, so we know that 14.6 millimeters should be 1.2 meters. So let's get rid of this one. And check to see how that's worked. So now that we measure this like that, there we go. 1.2 meters. Perfect. So now that we've got the ratio set, we can just measure everything off as before. Uh, so if I show you this as an example, If we just do uh, the, uh, back to there, 11.15 square meters. Obviously, you then take out the windows and you could carry on and do the, do the rest of the drawing. Now, that works really well if we've got some measurements to go on, but occasionally we'll get an even more complicated one where we won't have any measurements to go on at all. And we'll just be sent across a drawing with no measurements and have to try and do a takeoff from that. So here's the same place again with, with no measurements. So what would we do here? Well, first thing, bring up the measuring tool, as we did before. And then exactly the same, change the scale ratio to one millimeter, one millimeter. And then we can measure the drawing. Now, I like to use doors because as I said before, doors are 
generally two meters. So here to here. It's telling us 24.4 millimeters, I believe is two meters because that's the height of the door. So let's set the scale ratio. to 24.4 and meters is two meters like that and we'll delete this one and then let's check let's see how we're doing so there we go so that's that's showing that nicely as two meters. So let's see how we get on with the area up here. So change it to area measurement and then here to here. Like that. 11.25. There we go. So I think that's bang on what we got before. So that shows that you can even without any measurements, as long as you know how tall something is, you can use that to set the scale ratio and set it up for the rest of your drawing. So hopefully that gives you a nice little overview of how to do a takeoff using uh, Adobe Reader. If you've got any questions or if you want me or Jerry or any of the guys to help you out with a takeoff, please give us a call in the office and uh, yeah, we'll be happy to help. Thanks a lot. Cheers.